this video, I want to share with you guys what we can expect from Unreal Engine 5.1 release with Foliate now support Nanite. So instead of downloading pre-made assets from uh, Unreal Engine Marketplace and see the performance, I want to see how Nanite improved the overall workflow. So I start from scratch. Um, I start with this MetaHuman for the size reference. I just placed it here. This is something very important because like uh, even though there is no standard for the size of a tree, uh, rocks, plants, bushes, and so on. But if you don't care about the size of an object in relation to one another, then your render will always look weird. You will not know exactly what's off, but something will always be off. So this should be the first thing to do, the size reference. Then I add this landscape and I start sculpting the horizon so that it doesn't look completely flat. And I want a small river stream flowing down here, so I sculpt this canal for that. I buy these three assets from uh, the website called DVIZ, so that I don't have to model everything from scratch. And uh, these assets is pretty good actually. And then I start to populate this, um, these three assets on the landscape. And I know a lot of people might think like, well, if I just buy these assets and populate on the scene, my render will look good. Um, and I would say it's 50% true, but the truth is to make your render beautiful, you need to know how uh, to do certain thing. And it's not just about good assets, okay? You need to know how to uh, compose your shot. You need to know how to light your scene. You need to know how to scale your uh, assets with respect to the other. And I would say the technical skills for that is pretty easy. And I think everyone knows how to scale, place a tree, how to add light, move and rotate around but what's hard to do is uh, to use these skills to make a beautiful shot and that's something that takes time to perfect so guys if you're a beginner or you already know pretty much all the process and technical skills required to make your scene uh, but you can't get a beautiful render or you've been struggling for years trying to get your render to the next level you can reach me out here on my instagram or my email and I will help you get there. So I will give you a personal mentorship where I will teach you one-on-one -on -one and then I'll help you achieve what you've been uh, trying to make for years. Okay, now let's get back to the business. I know it's just placing and scattering the assets, but you need to get some kind of reference, especially um, for the composition. You can change the lighting and the mood of any scene, but at least initially try to maintain the composition of your reference uh, this is something very important to keep in mind and before you add any detail to your scene I want you first to make sure that the composition works as a whole and then only then you start to add some details okay um, these are all nanite mesh I already convert everything to nanite and it's super simple to do that uh, just select the mesh you want to convert to nanite and then right click and then you just select these nanite options and that's it okay but like for some reason, if it doesn't work, um, then make sure you turn these uh, options in project settings, okay? Um, as we can see from here, everything is nanite except for the ground. Now, if we look at the performance, it's barely 16 FPS. This is not a very good news, but this could be because I'm currently using RTX uh, 3060, which is not a very powerful graphic card nowadays. But I will still say that this is a big improvement for a foliage scene like this. Because I've worked on a foliage scene before and I used to get like 9 FPS. But in reality, I think it's more like 2 FPS. I can barely move in the viewport and you know, the render takes like 1 hour to render like 400 frames. Now with this one, uh, it takes like 10 to 15 minutes to render the same 400 frames. So I would say huge improvement here. But if you expect, like me, like if you just expect 120 frames just by clicking these nanite options, then you're not gonna get it. Yeah, I wanna get that point straight. You're not just not gonna get it, like 120 FPS just by changing these options to nanite, okay? Uh, and that's my opinion with Unreal Engine 5.1 for support nanite. And uh, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.